Hey guys, it's Katie here and welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to be doing a video that's a little bit different, even though I say that every time. I swear, this time it's true. Um, I'm going to be reacting to a video that I shot last year, in the new year, which was my review of 2019 and goals for 2020, which obviously we need to talk about because 2020 has been an insane year. So I really want to see if any of those goals came true if I was able to succeed with any of them so that'll be super interesting to see so without further ado let's go on to the video okay so I'm gonna skip to like halfway through the video because the only part I'm interesting in reacting to is my goals for 2020 so let's do that just now okay the first thing that I would like to point out is I looked cute but I will never be getting a fringe again because they are a nightmare to maintain. 2019 has been a great year and I hope 2020 is the same. So, girl, just you wait. So if you go back to my review of 2018, you'll see that one of my goals for 2019 was to get to 100 subscribers. My goal for 2020 is to get to 300 subscribers. So, guys, we did it. We got to 350 subscribers and that doesn't seem like a lot to some people but to me it's crazy because that's over 350 people who have off their own back subscribed to my channel because they want to which is amazing and thank you so much so we reached that goal. Um, for 2020 I really want to focus on my music and do more gigs, write more songs. I'm hoping to learn the mandolin. I've had a mandolin for ages but I haven't done anything about it because I've been too busy but hopefully 2020 is the year that I learn to play the mandolin. Okay so let's start from the beginning. 2020 has been a year where I focused on my music. I have released two songs. I released um, Reason and I also released I Did It Alone which I will link down below. Um, I wrote a lot of new songs and I'm currently working on an EP. I'm not going to say when it's coming out because I myself do not know because I'm just writing it at the minute <laughs> about the mandolin <laughs> I sold the mandolin because I did not learn how to play it I didn't have the patience to learn another instrument and right now I'm just happy with playing my ukulele keyboard and guitar I want to do another theatre show so I had so much fun doing Legally Blonde that I am hopefully going to be doing another theatre show we don't know which one it's going to be yet with my theatre group but I'm super excited to find out which theme show it's going to be because I really want to be a part of that Okay, we had just started rehearsals for another theatre show when we went into lockdown so that didn't go ahead and it was really sad honestly because I was really looking forward to it uh, we were going to be doing The Wedding Singer which I have never see, actually seen but um, I was going to do a lot of research into it to kind of see what parts there were and, and if I could get into it and sort of thing um, but no that did not go ahead in 2020 unfortunately much like a lot of things did not go ahead but there's always next year. This isn't really a goal for 2020 more of something that's actually going to happen but I'm going on holiday in 2020 and I'm still better about this. Obviously right. Okay so we went into lockdown on the um, Scotland, the UK, went into lockdown on the 23rd of March, which was, first of all, the day before my birthday, which was fun, and second of all, we were supposed to be going on holiday on the 18th, which obviously got cancelled, which, much like a lot of things, I mean, there's a lot more going on in the world than just a holiday getting cancelled, but, um, yeah, it was a little bit frustrating because it was the second time that it had been cancelled. It had been cancelled in the November as well because Thomas, Thomas Cook went into liquidation um, but I mean again there's always next year. And I'm really excited about it because I'm going to the Dominican Republic which I have never been to before. Look how excited I was. Sorry girl. It's a no-go. And I'm also looking forward to all the Disney films like the live action Disney films that are coming in 2020. I believe one of them is Mulan which is one of my favourite Disney films. Okay so I have not yet seen Mulan and I know that it has been out however I'm kind of sceptical because Mulan is one of my favourite like original Disney movies and I'm kind of worried that it's not going to be as good um, but I mean I will watch it eventually just I haven't done that yet. I'm just going to talk about like I kind of look back on 2020 and everything that I've learned and everything that I've done Um, obviously it's not been a year like any other year. I learned more about the guitar. I started writing more. I've learned, I've, got, I've kind of dabbled in production over the course of this year which is 
super exciting, super fun because I'm looking to become an independent artist and produce my own music, which I'm really excited about and I'm honestly loving learning a lot about it. I'm using Reefer and my brother's helping me, my friend Gemma's is helping me and I'm just trying to get to know the software and stuff like that so I'm super excited and posting more actively on my Instagram. I've engaged with a lot of people. I did a collab with a disabled dancer called B Dance Enabled on Instagram um, to Impossible which I will link down below which was such a heartwarming project to be a part of and I loved every piece of it. I also did a project called Dancer in the World um, which, where I got dancers from all around the world to dance to the song Imagine by John Lennon and put it all together which was super exciting and honestly amazing. I, I feel so honoured to have gotten to work with so many talented dancer, dancers from all over the world, from Africa to Australia to the UK, like it was insane. So I really loved doing that. I also got to be part of a project called We Are The World which is um, people from all over the world got to sing a part of the song We Are The World um, and it was trending on YouTube which was super exciting and I also got to be on the six o'clock news in India which amazing what an experience that was so a lot of positive things have happened for me in 2020 I met my boyfriend I met him just before lockdown and we managed to get through it together it's just been a whirlwind year personally I feel extremely grateful um, I got to start my new job which I started in October um, which I absolutely adore um, I met my boyfriend we just got stronger through this whole thing and it's been a unique year but um, I'm super excited to see 2021 hopefully we're allowed out these are my goals for 2021 first of all Chris and I are going on our first holiday fingers crossed I'm hoping to continue writing my EP I don't know if I'll release it this year or not I'll be releasing a song um, called Mid-April which is ironic because I'll probably be releasing it in February but it's called Mid-April and um, it's about the five stages of grief which I am working alongside the videographer who videoed for my I Did It Alone which was incredible she is so talented I cannot wait to work with her again I'm hoping that Chris and I get to experience more things because um, pretty much throughout our, our entire relationship we have been in and out of lockdown so it will be super exciting for us to actually go out out um, but it will be crazy all in all guys I'm super appreciative and super grateful that I am happy and healthy I have a job I just want to help more people that was kind of the purpose behind the dancer in the world thing I want to spread positivity and hopefully that I'll be able to do that, but It's literally been raining for a month straight. It's flooding everywhere and I really don't know how I'm gonna get out of this car park when it's pretty much flooded at most of the entrances but we shall see maybe i'll be stuck here forever because tomorrow is going to be a pretty hectic day because i'm going to engage with party and there's thought you bring you guys along go back from getting my hair done and i absolutely love it it's my birthday and my whole country is on lockdown so does anyone else feel like they're in some crazy horror movie and they're just waiting for the credits to roll i haven't actually obviously been able to see a lot of my family today. Guys, I think I'm gonna have like a crisis now that I'm 25. First time out the door in God knows how long. Just walking over an hour a day I can see that there's a queue. Okay, so you're allowed in one door and you have to go out another door and there's also arrows on the floor to show you where you're supposed to be going and there's a guy telling us at the door we have to social distance. That was stressful and I broke so many arrow rolls. It's day 500 of quarantine. I'm gonna be discussing slash reviewing Tiger King. My kind of thought process was that maybe like somebody had killed someone and fed them to a tiger or maybe someone had killed someone by feeding them to a tiger and I still don't have a clue what that television documentary was about. I don't think I had that much hair. No, it's time. Let's come off at a time. That's how. She's <laughs> 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 Stop 
snort my pants. <laughs> I'm trying to learn contortion, so yeah, at 25, I'm trying to learn contortion. God help me. My name is Nirosha McKenzie. It's Courtney McRae. It's Rachel. Isabella. It's Chris and Anderson. Imagine all the people living for today. Ooh. Yeah, I'm going to be climbing Ben Lomond, which is a mountain, and I'm going to be doing it with Chris. You took them away. There's nothing left to say. I'm getting my hair done. So I'm going to the hairdressers for the first time since before lockdown. Alright guys, I'm ready for the transformation. Here goes. Only thing you're missing is some tape over that mouth. I'm not a dime a dozen. I know I'm worth this more than you. Super exciting. Hand sanitizer, obviously, because that's a given nowadays. And a cute little mask. Parts of me, I need a chain. Don't take a lot to drag me away from you. Watching you, Brad. I am watching you. Watching you do your thing. Why are you he's chasing me? He's chasing me. You watch me bleed out inside my glass house. So this is Christmas And what have you done? And now the year over And a new one's just begun Give it a big thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. I'll see you next time. Bye.